it is a uh, it's a rough go of it. Uh, first topic on the show today: Alden Smith, a name you hadn't heard in a long, long time, is back in the NFL. He was reinstated. He was on a conference call with Roger Goodell as of last night, and today he was in the virtual uh, camp. I guess it's called. Uh, they are, you know, they're rolling through it. The Cowboys have got him in. They signed him to a deal that could potentially cost them $4 million after incentives. If he doesn't make the 53-man roster, they're going to be on the hook for $440,000. Look, he hadn't played since 2015. But the reason that they brought him back in, uh, let's see, Jim Tom Sula with the 49ers. That is when Alden Smith was an absolute wrecking ball, is when Tom Sula was with the 49ers. He had 47 and a half sacks in 59 games. That's absurd. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Um, now, Nick Carr jumps in on Periscope, said Alden Smith won't play 10 more games in his career. That's what we're going to talk about. Um, obviously, he's got connections to the coaching staff in Dallas. He... You know, he's got a connection with Mike McCarthy through a gym in, in L.A. where he was working out. Everything says that he, you know, is, is back in the best shape of his life, which you always hear that. It's super cliche. I get that. I don't know. I mean, he, he hadn't played since 2015. This game has changed drastically in the last five years. Chris, give me your thoughts on this. Is this a good move for the Cowboys to bring him back? I mean, is it, it like $440,000 isn't anything. But, you know, I understand taking a flyer, but, but what do you think about this? Well, yeah, that's it. I mean, it's a free contract. So, I mean, you're taking a shot in the dark, and it costs you nothing. Yeah. I mean, it, it costs you nothing. If he doesn't make your roster, then you don't worry about it. If he makes the roster, then he can bring value to the team, and he's on a super prove it contract. Yeah. It's, uh, it's definitely super prove it. Uh, a lot of the incentives that they have in here. Um, now, oh, by the way, they're also talking about the return of uh, second-round pick Randy Gregory, who was suspended from the league indefinitely in February 2019. Um, you know, at, you, you get guys like that in there, at, the defense could be, could be pretty crazy if everything goes according to plan. Michael jumps in on Twitch. Not a bad idea to kick the tires. Cost him absolutely nothing. He could be a situational pass rusher. If he busts or arrested, who cares? Yeah, I think I think this is an easy call. Like, obviously, if you got if he gets reinstated, which he did, and obviously there were hurdles they had to jump through to get that, but he was reinstated. He's back in the league. He's in the good graces right now. I think this is easy. I mean, this guy you had not seen anybody like him in forever when he came on the scene with the 49ers. He goes over to the Raiders. He's still a wrecking ball, but he couldn't stay out of trouble. That's kind of my question. He's been out of the league for so long. Can he stay out of trouble now? You know, we'll see. Uh, McKinnon said it's one thing to be out a year, but five years is a big damn gap. That's hard to make up the difference. Yep. Uh, great I'm contract. Very curious to, to see if he can play or not. Yeah. Uh, Joseph Gomez said Dak walks. Jerry gives up numbers uh, two to three number ones for Aaron Rodgers. Amazing how if the Cowboys uh, are okay, but it's – oh, if it's the Raiders or Steelers, the narrative changes slightly. I don't think that's the case in this situation. I think any team, at, let, let's leave out the Aaron Rodgers stuff. Um, it any team that would have signed him, I think it would have been the same thing. Like, do you feel that way? I, what, I don't understand the the comment. I don't. I don't. Maybe like I the don't Steelers either. get away with signing a guy like this, and it's fine. But the Cowboys sign him, and it's trouble. And see, that's it. So he said, Dak walks, and Jerry gives up two to three number ones for Rodgers. Amazing yeah, how two different, they're making two different arguments. Okay. Yeah, and that's let let's let's stay on topic for this. Let's so it let's say it was the Raiders or the Steelers or whoever that brought him back. Well, I mean, I don't think there'd be any change. Like I think the narrative narrative would still be the same, right? Yeah, I mean it I do think Dallas gets more criticism than everybody else, but there's a reason they have another player coming off suspension and they're hoping to get reinstated as well. This is kind of a common thing for the for the, for the Cowboys, or it used to be. I don't know that it has been in a long time, but anybody who's old enough to love sports now remembers the 90s when they were great, but they were leading the world in arrest. 
Well, and Michael said, didn't they have people babysitting Dez? Like, why can't they do the same thing yes. here? Yeah. I, I think, I mean, you you hire a security guy, you keep him They were the guys him. that brought in Greg Hardy. I mean, they, they, they tend to take chances on – it's one thing to take a chance on a head case, a guy that's, you know, an idiot or a problem in the locker room, stuff like that. Lots of teams will do that. There, there aren't all 32 teams willing to take a chance on somebody with – With these major, kind of records. Yeah, with with major issues. Yeah, uh, with Lane violence Steph, issues. Yeah, no, say that a hundred percent because the Cowboys don't care. They no. do drugs, they do alcohol. Everybody, all thirty two will take a chance on that. Any type of violence issue whatsoever. There's half the league has you off the board, and they're not touching you. Yeah, uh, Matt said. Hopefully, he's kept his conditioning and strength up. I, I mean, that, yeah. they say he has. I mean, it, the biggest thing is five years is a long time. Yeah. Oh, to not to not be you say well he doesn't have the miles it's not it you haven't been hit but you also haven't hit anybody in five years yeah that's that's offensive crazy. linemen ain't blocking the way they used to just everything is 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 evolved in the the way the game is and it's just faster it's yeah. faster now than it's ever been oh a hundred percent I mean offenses are played differently like I, I don't know that he'll be able to get off the ball the same way I mean who knows but it it's worth a shot. It's obviously yeah, worth it's a, a free. It's a free shot. It costs you nothing to take the shot. Lane Stapp Gaming jumps in. He said, what's up? Absolutely. We want to welcome in as many people as possible. And Michael said, uh, oh, McKinnon said, the game is easily three times as fast as it was back then. Michael said, I'm surprised the Pats didn't sign him. This is the Belichick special. That's, I don't think that's but the that's case. That's not true, Michael. That's somebody no. who doesn't know the Patriots. Bill Belichick never Ever, ever, Robert Kraft just doesn't go after criminals. If you have any violence whatsoever in your background, you are gone. Remember when the Aaron Hernandez stuff came out? He wasn't even arrested yet. It was just the accusation that they were considering arresting him, and he was immediately cut from the team instantly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Late like, step gaming. Like they just—they don't do criminals. They'll. I mean, if you uh, drugs, alcohol, things like that, they'll rehab people all day long. Head cases all day long. Criminals, no. As soon as as soon as the uh, the the Antonio Brown stuff happened, immediately Gone. cut. Yeah. Gone. That's it, because they would they'll take Antonio Brown if he's just a head case, and they That's feel right. like the culture can can help fix him and lead him in the right direction. Yeah. The other stuff outside of football. Yeah. Hey, we're not messing with that. Lane Stapp Gaming said never heard of Alden Smith. Um, yeah, and he said Kraft That's doesn't go after criminals. Just ask Antonio Brown. Uh, never heard of Alden Smith. Just go look up his stats. He was un friggin believable He was drafted in 2011, played up until 2015, and got suspended from the league. And this will be the first time he's gotten a chance back in in forever. Um, yeah. Matt said, can we talk about the 2007 Florida Gators? They had a murderer, racist, and a thief, all led by a preacher. Like, yeah. that's. I mean, I think that's what made that team work, honestly. If they didn't have a, a, a player leader like that, I mean, I think that locker room would have been bananas. Bananas. Anyway, 